1 John 1, 9 is a really famous verse, but it has an interesting translation issue right in the middle. Aeon hamalagomen tas hamartias hemon, pistas esten kaidikaias, hina afe hemin tas hamartias kai katharise hemas apa pases adikias. So another third class conditional sentence. Aeon, you look for the subjunctive. So if we confess our sins, and then this is important, faithful he is and just. And then this is a somewhat unusual use of hina, and it means something like so that, and as a result. And what on earth is afe? Well, it's that strange word, afi ami, and the hint is you have hina, therefore this has to be a subjunctive, right? So this is the aorist subjunctive of afi ami. This is one of those words that if you try to memorize how the different stems are formed, it'll probably just be frustrating. Uh, so you just you just memorize it. But what I think of is it's a compound word with a pa plus iami, and what you get right here are these different kinds of contractions. The p goes to a fi and whatnot. So what you have up here in this text is the aorist subjunctive third singular. So in order that he forgive us the sins, and probably you want the toss to function as an as a possessive, and cleanse another error subjunctive, right? Cleanse us from all sin. So because it's a conditional sentence, we're going to indent the if. So it's if we confess our sins, and here's where it's kind of interesting, isn't it? It doesn't say he will be faithful and just to forgive, even though that's what a lot of translations do. But it simply goes to his character. And it affirms that God is a faithful and a righteous God. And because of his character, the hina indicates the consequence of that. So he will forgive our sins and he will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Probably want to put that chi on its own line just to make it really clear what's going on. But I think the important part here is that John doesn't go to something that Jesus is going to do. He goes to God's very character. So if we confess our sins then we can know for sure that because he is a faithful and a just God, that he will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It may seem like a minor point, but I think it's an important one to realize that our forgiveness comes from the very character of God. You can see this in the different translations of this verse, where the ESV keeps the traditional one. He is faithful and just to forgive us, which, yeah, it's just what it means, but it's not exactly what it means. The NRSV does a much better job. It says, if we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just, so it goes to the character of God, will forgive us our sins. CSV puts a comma. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous, and he will forgive. You can see that in the NIV and the Net Bible as well. So it's a great verse and one that centers our hope of forgiveness in the very character of God.